guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if this is your first time here. My name is Day and if you love videos like this, please go ahead and subscribe and join the family. And if you have been here, thank you guys so much for coming back to see me. So in today's video, I am going to attempt to show you some of the styles that I used to do in my first journey. I really don't style my hair that much now just because like I'm okay with it. I was at a space in my first journey where I was just not okay with my hair looking the way it does now but i'm in this place where i'm kind of like eh, you know it is what it is um but i am gonna see if you know i can revive some of those old styles and maybe try them out sometimes and i did have a couple people ask me um how i styled my starter locks the answer is i don't but if i did this is what i would do also i did want to show you guys my shirt so this is my top let me take it off <gasps> isn't it gorgeous so it just says locked um, and it has committed on it and some other uh, synonyms. And this was um, actually gifted to me by a company on Instagram. I'm sure that if you're like, if you follow lockers on Instagram, you've probably seen it, but I am going to um, link that information down below in the description box. And it is really cute. Like when I got this, I was like, oh my gosh, like I feel official. Like it's been six months and I'm like really in it. Like I feel official. Anyway, um, if you are interested in seeing some of my lock styles, then please keep on watching. So the first style that I'm gonna do is gonna be this little faux bun um, pigtail look. And I'm gonna just part my hair down the middle and I'm gonna take a small black rubber band and kind of just put that over top of my locks and tuck in as much as I possibly can because Obviously with this length, I can't do real buns. So I'm just gonna put a rubber band over the locks and tuck. And these styles I did without a retwist because typically when you wanna style your hair is when your hair is not retwisted anyway. Um, of course you can do these styles with a retwist, that's fine as well. Um, and then I'm gonna take this gold like string that I got from my local beauty supply store and just wrap that around the base of the faux buns. Um, just to add like more of a fun look of course the style you're gonna wear with like a t-shirt on a saturday you know something like that all right and that is it for style number one as you can see like i said it's just very casual um, very quick and easy now the next style is going to be a little bit like the opposite of that um, it is very quick and easy but it's something that you can wear to like a more professional event or to work or something like that so I'm just going to spray my hair with water very quickly and then I'm going to take the very front of my hair I'm actually parting it into three sections working with the front now and I'm going to crisscross the front of my hair left over right left over right until I reach um, just the back of the front half of my hair. I want to leave the back of my hair out to give more of a feminine look. And then I'm going to secure that with either a rubber band or a bobby pin. I use the rubber band for the middle in this tutorial. And I'm going to do the same thing to the sides, left over right. And then I'm going to secure the sides with a bobby pin. So it just gives like a really neater, a, a much neater look to your locks, um, especially when you tie it down with a scarf. I didn't do that in this video, but um, if you want to, you can even slick the edges of your hair down and tie it down with a scarf and you will be good to go. And that is going to be it for style number two. Now style number three, I kind of just um, developed off of style number two. I'm just gonna take out the front section and the side section of my hair and just kind of comb that forward and I'm gonna leave that crisscross um, style on the side. And this like is like a two looks in one kind of thing. It's just pinned up on the side and um, out in the front and the other side. So yeah, that is it for style number three. Now my next style is probably one of my favorites because it's just so simple, but it just gives more of like a, a sleek look. And what I'm doing is just, I am just gonna pull the sides of my hair up. Um, as you can see, the front of my hair, I kind of pushed it forward almost to give like a lock bang in a sense. Um, and the sides of my hair, I'm just gonna take two or three locks and pull them up as far as I can and kind of secure it with a bobby pin. Um, and it seems simple, it is really easy to do, but I was even surprised when I did it in this video about how much of a difference um, it made in just my hair being out and it being pinned up. So yeah, that is it for style number four.
This next style, while the front of my hair is pulled towards the front of my face like a bang, I'm just gonna take the back and as best as I can just do a crisscross motion. Now this was a little bit difficult for me because my hair is very short, but if you have longer starter locks, this would be perfect for you. Um, this is style number five, just like a small updo. Next, we are gonna switch it up once again and do something a little more casual. Now this is definitely a creative style. I like stuff like this, um, and if you're able to rock it, it is super cute. And what I'm doing is just doing little mini buns or like Bantu knots in the front and leaving the back out. Um, I do about, I would say six or seven of them around the perimeter of my hair. This style is so cute. Like I forgot how cute it is. If you have the personality for it, like this is the style. So this is style number six. And last but not least, style number seven, we're just gonna braid uh, the front of our hair the best we can. Listen, when you have starter locks and they're a little bit thick, this is gonna be a challenge, but I try my best. Um, so I just put mini braids or mini plaits all over the front of my hair and I secured the ends with a rubber band um, as much as you can and of course I'm gonna leave the back out right now because our hair is rather short um, but I'm just gonna braid the sides and braid the other side And now what I'm doing is I'm just gonna take those braids and try to mold them onto the sides of my hair and pin them down with a bobby pin. And I'm doing the same thing to the front. Try to kind of just layer the braids over top of each other and um, curl them and just secure them with a bobby pin. And I'm gonna do the same to the other side. Now this style, it really does look best when you have a little bit of length because the braids just fall so nicely over top of each other, but it can be done. As shown in this video, it can be done. Um, if you want more of a neater look, you can take some more locks on the side and just pin them up over top of the braids like I did. And this can be worn to work, um, or actually this can cross over as a casual style too. It's just completely up to what you wanna do. So that is style number seven. All right, love, so this is pretty much it. Of course, in addition to this, you can also do pipe cleaners and pipe cleaner curls, which is like a two styles in one. And I also have a video on my channel um, doing pipe cleaner curls, so I will link that below. Um, but yeah, this is, I feel like the most, um, This I feel is the most creative styles wise for starter locks. Of course you can do basic things like, you know, half up, half down. It is a challenge. It was definitely harder this time around because my locks are thicker and they're also shorter as well. So they're not as just like, I don't know, limber in a sense, but yeah, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know what your favorite style was below or if you try a style, please take a picture and tag me on Instagram at daylocks. Um, thank you guys so much for tuning in and I will see you in my next video. Bye.